Hi, I'm Sarah Sims. I'm an electronic music producer, DJ, and turntablist, as well as the co-creator of The Future Prophecy. Hi, I'm Mello, and I am the co-creator and writer of The Future Prophecy. The project began as a, as a collaboration between my sister and I. She had a vision that we would work together on a project that sort of combined together my um, love of pop culture and comic books and her um, love of music and live performance and also her interest in, in new music technologies. We've been working on the project now for almost close to five years. So with The Future Prophecy, I saw a really cool opportunity Opportunity to you know uh, to kind of blend together different art forms. I wanted to combine together this epic superhero story that Mel was writing with my love of electronica. We sort of just took the idea and ran with it and it developed into what is now the future prophecy. We produced the first issue which was illustrated by Arthur Dela Cruz and what we're doing next is we're going to be bringing out our second issue illustrated by Paris Aline. Seeing my storyboards for the second issue that I carefully painstakingly spent the time drawing out, that was a big moment for me to see something that you've written and storyboarded and it's completely 100% come from your from your from your mind and then someone just nails it so completely artistically. That was that was huge for me. That was a big moment. The history of the project is sort of like the history of, of our adventure in the Toronto music scene. Our home base is in Toronto, and we met a bunch of really, really talented, diverse musicians. And their personalities inspired us to create some cool characters, like some DJ superheroes who had musical superpowers. My inspiration for the story setting uh, was definitely the, the party scene in Toronto. I've been going to shows with my sister since I was very young, and Definitely a lot of those experiences translated well into the sort of post-apocalyptic setting that is the structure of the future prophecy. We wanted to launch the project with a trailer video. So we found a bunch of Toronto DJs who we respected a lot to play the characters in the video. And we found a crew of ninjas to battle in the video. And we called up Travis Institute and we filmed our trailer video at Travis Institute. Sometimes you, you feel drawn towards the villains because they're strong characters and you know they have these tough scenarios and backstories. I think Guy Guillotine is probably one of my favorite characters because he's a he's a stud and he's had his heart broken and you know he uh, he's very sexy. He's very sexy and he's very sexual. We wanted our characters to be using very advanced musical technologies. Technologies that are on the cutting edge. In the future prophecy my superpower is the ability to control musical technologies with my mind. I chose this ability because I've always been fascinated with electronic music equipment and how you can use it to creatively express emotion. I think that if you really take the time to master your skills and study your craft, that you can use your powers and have the sound coming from the instrument be like an extension of yourself. I think that a true superhero consciously chooses to use their power for the greater good. Sarah is a superhero and I think anyone who knows her in real life knows that she's a hard worker. She makes amazing things happen. She makes people feel better with her music and I think anyone who's seen her perform live, it almost is like she's communicating with the technology and, and wielding it to do her, her good. I had a lot of fun attending Comic Con shows that we've been to. And I've also had a lot of fun putting on the Future Prophecy shows because we have all the characters in the series. We have real DJs and musicians actually act out the characters in a live show. And I get to be my Sarah Sims character too, which is always a good time. When I'm putting this album together, I really want it to be representative of, you know, all types of electronica. And that's why I chose, I think, each of our characters to represent a different style or sound. Mm -hmm. And I think the rave scene kind of opened us up to appreciating different styles of music, not just one. Yeah, for sure. The Future Prophecy is a graphic novel and concept album series featuring DJs as superheroes and villains. We will be releasing 12 issues of the graphic novel accompanied by 12 musical tracks featuring artists from the comic book.